Hello everyone and we're back with another video and in this tutorial we're going to be learning how to make a drawing game using Scratch. So in this series of tutorials we're going to be learning how to use a new type of block called a pen block which allows us to draw on our projects. So I'm going to go down to the bottom left corner here with this icon and it's an add extension icon. I'm going to select the pen option. And you should get this menu with lots of different blocks. Now I'm going to, uh, I'm going to paint a new sprite. Move it to the front and I'm just going to name it pen. Now it's going to be a blank sprite, we're not going to uh, draw anything on it, so leave it blank. Now just ignore this uh, red pencil, green pencil, blue pencil, we're going to focus on that later. So just ignore this, don't don't create the sprites as yet. So I'm going to start off with a simple code. So before we begin, I'm going to create two variables. One variable is to remind the player of the color of the pen they're using, and the other is to um, tell them of the size of the pen, so how thick it is. Let's make one variable called pen size for all sprites. And I'm going to change the, this to slider so that the player can uh, choose the size of the pen. I'm going to create another variable called pen color again for all sprites. Okay, so we have our two variables. Now I'm going to go into events, grab when green flag clicked. I'm going to go to variables and we want to have a set value for these two variables. So for pen size, I'd say when the green flag is clicked, when the, when the game has start, I'm going to say the pen size should be 25, roughly. And the pen color should be black. Okay, now when the green flag is clicked, we want the player to have a nice blank screen to draw on. So we want everything to be erased, so erase all. Now to actually get onto the code for the drawing. We're gonna grab a forever block and then if then else statement. Now um, we're gonna go to motion and we want the pen to uh, be under the mouse pointer for the whole game. So we're gonna put that here. Okay now, where if the mouse is being clicked we want uh, we want we want the pl the player to be able to draw. So go to sensing. If mouse down, then uh, the we want the pen to be down. If it's anything else, we just want the pen to be up. Okay, so now let's test up. Let's test this out. Now you can see that we we are able to draw. Um, but of course uh, we can't do anything with the pen size and the pen color. In this tutorial, we're only going we're only going to be fixing the pen size, and in the next tutorial, we're going to be fixing the pen color. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to go to pen, um, so set pen size, and we're going to put it under the if then else statement. Now I'm going to go to operators and grab a divide, and go back to pen. Um, no, sorry, go back to variables, and grab pen size, and we're going to divide it by. Uh, Probably about 2 to 2.5. I'm sticking with 2.5, but you could put 2 if you want. So you can test both out. So now if we draw, you can see that we can the, the size is a lot more sensible. And if you change the sizes, the pen becomes thicker. Of course, the color doesn't work as yet. But uh, we're going to be fixing that in the next tutorial. So now we're going to focus on the, uh, the pencils. And uh, I'm going to be focusing on how... Uh, how we, how I can hide, how I drew the pencil. So I'm gonna create a new sprite. Now, of course, I'm gonna delete this after. Okay, so what we wanna do first is we want to create uh, just a normal rectangle. Zoom in a bit, and we want the the outline to be black and about ten. So I'm I'm keeping it red just for now. And uh, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw, we're gonna draw a trapezium sort of shape. We want all the lines to be connected together, and uh, we're gonna fill this. We're gonna the the trapezium is gonna be a sort of goldish color, I'd say, a nice gold color. So so something like this. We're gonna rotate it, and we're gonna drag it here, and then you can fiddle around with the sizes a bit just so it fits the rectangle. So the size. And then what we're going to do is we're going to create a triangle, basic triangle. And we're going to make it red, 
So this is going to be the tip of the pencil. So it's going to be red. And then just rotate this 90 degrees. Put this here. And uh, yeah, that's done. Now you also, again, you can just adjust the sizes of the the, the nib of the pencil. Uh, so that it fits the trapezium. But luckily for mine, it fit perfectly. So uh, then what you can do is you can just make this smaller. Uh, select all, make it smaller. And then you can keep copying and paste it, pasting it on uh, new sprites. So of course I'm going to delete this now because I already have my different pencils made. I've only used four colors, but you can use as many as you want really. So I'm only using four colors just for the sake of this tutorial. Uh, we're going to be uh, doing the code. We're going to be doing some of the code for the pencils in the next tutorial. And we're also going to be fixing the pen color in the next tutorial. That's the end of this video. Thanks for watching.